That's kind of cool. It's not focusing on anything. It's no longer November 61st, 2016. I think we need to update that. Yeah, I'm late to the game. There's a lamp right here, so I get in a weird shadow. However, it's really cold out. It's probably below 20 right now with the wind chill. You know the winter's a rough time. Love you though, buddy. We're gonna go get dinner. We'll be back. You stay comfortable in your window seat. See you in a little while, baby. See you in a little while, Baba. Okay, let's go. I don't have any change. I took it all out of my pockets before. Looks like there's a cat toy out there though. because it was a frosted mug so all the ice was kind of like frothing up on top. It's not as good as a sole, but it'll do. I don't know if I've ever gone to Dos Equis. For sure. film the shrimp I forgot to film the shrimp strudel before I took a bite it's shrimp and it's strudel and it's good to take you to get groceries we both got lamb gyros they're good I can't wait to eat this I'm gonna put you away and eat this now That thing. It's part of the old. This is interesting. An old Singer sewing machine, an old desk lamp, and a hookah. Alright, so that place is Theo Metro's. 
It's a Greek restaurant that is phenomenal. And the building used to be a popcorn factory. I think that's that's part of the whole popcorn factory right there. I have no idea really when the popcorn factory closed, but I think it was open into the 60s and 70s, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not popcorn super balls. popcorn balls. Yeah. It's not. It hasn't been closed for super long. Like, and by super long, I mean uh, it's probably been closed for like 30 years, maybe a little more. But it's not something that closed like in the early 1900s. We're gonna go home. Amy, those shrimp rangoons were amazing. Shrimp strudel. No, they were shrimp rangoons. The one time I want to film her right there, she's not there. There she is. This cat is 95% of the time in front of that door when we come in the house. Oh, somebody got something. Somebody got something. That used to be in the sink. This dog that wasn't just here. What did you do, Oliver? Oh! We shocked each other. Now he doesn't want me to touch him. What did you do, Oliver? I shocked you right on the nose. I'm sorry. I gotta take my jacket off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put on the skull pajama pants tonight. I'm freezing. I have a pair of skull pajama pants that, who got me them? You or your mom? Probably my mom. Amy's mom got me them like two years ago for Christmas. They are so warm that I, I really can't wear them because I just sweat bullets. They're, they're, I, I do wear them sometimes when it's cold and I'm walking all over because they're so heavy. They're, what? They are so ugly, but they are so warm. They're super comfortable, but they're just so incredibly warm. I need to show you something. I, it's 10 after 7. I give myself about two hours before I'm passed out on the couch. Because someone... slept so ridiculous last night that I got maybe two hours of sleep. Maybe two hours. I drew a little diagram for Amy before, so let me, let me walk you through that. Keep in mind we have a king size bed that two adults, one Oliver, and one baby cat sleep on. So there's four of us. A baby cat doesn't take up that much room. Okay, let's, let me walk you through this. We start here. This is Amy, that's Oliver, and that's me. The cat has not yet entered the picture. Usually, she's right up here, snugged into me, but last night she wasn't around. Then, we end up with something like this. Amy has stretched out and taken up more than half of the bed. Oliver is sleeping at a crazy angle. I am on my side, crushed, trying not to fall off the bed. It's hard to make me out from the edge of the bed because, well, I was on the edge of the bed, and the cat was sleeping down here. This little wavy circle, that's that's Bella. Amy has three quarters of the bed. Oliver has all of this space up here. Me and the cat are in the fetal position all the way down here in the corner of the bed. I did grab a pillow. Then my alarm went off at five o'clock so I can get up and go to the gym. After the alarm went off, we kind of went back to square one. The cat jumped down because she thought it was time to get up and eat. It woke Oliver up, so he got up and laid normal again. Well, he went under the covers face first and put his butt up in our faces. But he went back to laying in the middle between us, and I was able to stretch out. Uh, the cat would not let me go back to bed, though, because she thought it and wanted me to get up and feed her. But I had such a crazy headache, I, was, I didn't go to the gym. I was so tired. So, that was my night. Someone took up the whole bed. Another one didn't have much bed at all, but then woke me up at five. Well, my alarm woke me up at five. 
but she would not let me go back to bed. I immediately turned off the alarm, felt my head pounding, set the alarm for 6.30 and tried to go back to sleep. Didn't happen. I think I finally got out of bed about quarter after, quarter after six. So I might have fallen back asleep for a little while, but not much. I'm cold. So, I am going to put on my nice warm pajamas. In three, two, and now we're wearing the ultimate slob shirt and the heavy hitter warms. Look at these things. Skulls. Skulls all over them. They are so warm. Okay, Twilight Zone time until I fall asleep. If you like this video or any other video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You could like by giving me a big thumbs up. You could subscribe by hitting that big red button down below or clicking on my floating head at the end of this video. Thank you.